I am tight on another one. It's non-stop right now. 10 in like what? 20 minutes? Literally. The jumper. Oh, got one. Hey guys, we're out here with the Salt Life team and uh, we've got Aaron, Jeff, Emmanuel, and I'm Demi. We're in the Outer Banks. We're out here <laughs> throwing some little jerk baits, looking for redfish, looking for speckled trout. We're taking you guys with us. We're gonna see what we can find. Got one on here. The trout. Bluefish. We have a little bluefish. We're gonna go ahead and get them back in the water. Whoa, did you see that? What was that? The yeah. dolphin, both of them yeah. jumped at once. I am tight on another one. I think it's another bluefish. It's going hard. So I tossed this over the rocks, uh, like Captain over here said, and uh, I got this guy within seconds. So I think he's a keeper, but we are not keeping him today. Another little trout. Fish on. Double that. So here we have two speckled trout and we're just throwing little jerk baits over the rocks there, winding it slow, and they're chewing them. They are hungry this morning. <laughs> it's like another blue fish, which fight a lot harder than the trout. The jumper. Getting my bait back. There we go. Another bluefish. There goes another one. It's non stop right now. 10 in like what? 20 minutes? Literally. Oh, got one. Another trout. Another trout. Trout number six. Casting just past the rocks and then let it sink a little bit, jerk it a little bit, and then hook up every time. Alrighty, in the boat. Whew. Another bluefish going back. Alright, I'll hook back up. Fishing on these great Z Man little jerk baits. Quarter ounce jig head. Oh man, it's another beautiful little trout. Not quite in the size keeping limit, but they are beautiful. I always love, they're so pretty. The speckles, let's get him back in the water. There you go, buddy. Go grow a little bit. He might have another trout on. Yeah, it's another trout. There we go. Speckled trout. This teeth. They always have like that one little thing there. All right, so we're wrapping up at the first spot. Uh, the trout were very lively and- We're gonna go look for some false albacore. We're gonna run out and see if we can't find them. Which are not bonita apparently, so. Yeah, that should Curious be Curious to see the difference. All right, so we're gonna head out now. We're taking you guys with us. So we'll see what happens. All righty guys, so we are out here looking for some birds so we can find the albies. And we have some wild horses on the beach. I've never seen anything like that. That is so crazy. All right, so we were just in Atlantic Beach there and uh, we came up north and now we're at the southern tip of Cape Lookout, which is the southern end of the Outer Banks. I hope I catch something big. And what you're trying to do is like fish are inherently lazy. They don't want to chase like really active fish. They're looking for an injured fish or a stunned fish. And so when he kind of twitches this jerk bait up, it pops up and then it kind of flutters back down. 
fish thinks it's an injured thing, easy prey, kind of an easy meal. Earlier in the day, I was tricking them very good. Here in the past 30 minutes, I haven't been tricking them as good. So hopefully I'll get better at tricking them here in a minute. My money's on a manual. <laughs> Hooked up, first cast. I need a little more drag. Yeah. I hope it's a redfish. Coming right at us. <laughs> oh, it's an albie. Yeah, it is? It's an albie. On the rock? Yeah. <laughs> Never caught one like that. It's an albacore. False albie. Drop that right now. Holy smokes. On the rocks. This is a false albacore, and they're commonly confused for bonitas. Um, but as you can tell by the markings on the fish, uh, they're different. The bonitas have lateral markings versus the uh, squirrely black marks on them. I was expecting it to be a redfish, honestly, and then got this false albie. And this is my first one ever, so definitely a memorable catch. Look at the colors on them. Wow. All right, guys, we're going to get them back in the water. All right, so while Emmanuel got that, I got this uh, energetic bluefish. I put up a nice little fight. I went in Emmanuel's spot, and this is what I got. Now we. Aaron, you want to reel him in? You got it. We're, huh? oh, we're doubled up. Oh, we're doubled up. Woo! Demi, do we have the same fish? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, they're right side by side. No? All right, so we got doubled up right here on the inside of these rocks. We both threw in at the same time. I really thought Demi was trying to take my fish off the line, <laughs> but it ends up. She caught a nice little blue, and I caught a nice little gray trout. Some people call them wheat fish. Uh, they're very beautiful. Look at the color. See how it's turned really yellow here? Such a beautiful, beautiful fish and he's been out of the water just long enough. I think I want to get him back in this guy and let him go uh, swim a little bit more. There goes another one. Feels like another blue fish. I want another Albi. Sweet. We're just still pitching those jerk shads out there. Got myself a beautiful gray trout. Keeper size, but we're going to be releasing them. We feel unfair to the rest of the people around us and we're catching so many fish. They're getting jealous. We're going to move down. We don't want any haters. Hooked <laughs> up again. I don't know what this is. Hopefully it's a big trout. It feels different. Look at that thing. The yellow fins on them look so nice. Woo! Down the hatch. Another beautiful great trout. That's so sick. All right, so we uh, beat the rain clouds in. We just got back to the docks. We caught great trout, speckled trout. We caught false albies, ladyfish. And as you guys know, we caught a ton of bluefish. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Thank <laughs> you.